Hey, I shouldn't be telling you this, but if you skip this part of the video, you will miss out on the deal of a lifetime. If you click the link in the description, you will see that Atlas VPN are giving out an offer to get a three year subscription for just $1.83 per month. That's less than Netflix's latest price increase. Plus, it comes with three months for free and a 30 day money back guarantee. It's the best VPN on the market and you can use it to watch shows that are not available on streaming services in your country. So you can watch Friends on UK Netflix no matter where you are in the world, as long as you have a subscription to Netflix. You can even use it on unlimited devices. So everyone in your house can watch Friends on UK Netflix at once. And they keep your searches private so that we'll all finally stop spying on you. But remember, time is of the essence if you want to get this offer. Just $1.83 per month to get a three year subscription by clicking the link in the description below. Am I the asshole for refusing to walk with my sister's friend in her wedding and requesting a different girl? Title is weird. So is this whole situation I, 27M, find myself in? I do think the backstory is important here. So my sister is getting married in November. We are really close and always have been. So I find this whole situation to be ever weirder. I've been asked to be a groomsman on her fiancé's side. Me and him are cool and it was important to my sister that I'm included. I was really looking forward to it until I saw who I was paired with. So two years ago I met this girl named Tara, 26F, on a dating app. We started talking daily, FaceTimed a lot, went on dates. We talked for over three months. And I felt like it was actually going somewhere. Well after one of the dates she completely ghosted me. Sent a follow-up text but got nothing back. I won't lie. I was really upset. I even talked to my sister about it. Well COVID hit and I moved away for a job. Come back to find out my sister and Tara are now friends? Apparently my sister got a new job. Tara recognized the last name. Reached out to her and they became friends. Such good friends in fact that she is now a bridesmaid and hangs at my parents' house. And my parents know her? I found out they were friends literally three weeks ago. She never mentioned it to me. I asked if she knew it was the Tara I got ghosted by. And she said Tara had told her. But wanted to keep their conversations private. Then a random text from Tara. Asking what I wanted to do for our entrance dance. I immediately called my sister. Who informed me that Tara and I would be paired up. Including the entrance dance. I asked why. I know many of her bridesmaids and she had to pair me with the one who ghosted me. She said she had her reasons. And Tara also asked for me specifically. I never responded to Tara and instead went to talk to my sister in person. Got the same answers. And this time she sounded offended? That I asked for a different person. I told her how uncomfortable it made me. And she told me to stop overthinking. And just have fun. I said that she didn't understand how hurt I was. She said she had an idea, but to just do it as her wedding gift. I told her I'd be stepping down from the wedding party. I'll just go as a guest. She went apeshit. Saying I couldn't do that. And she wanted me up there. I said fine then switch me to a different girl. She said she wasn't going to. So I told her I'd be dropping out. My parents are calling me in awe. But I don't think I am. It's a weird request and I'm not about it. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole they might be trying to set you guys back up. But why would you want to when not one person is willing to openly clear the air about what happened? Instead they try to force you two together, without explanation, and expect you put aside your own feelings and self-respect to accommodate this, which is unnecessary in the first place. And while you're gone, she gets close to your sister and parents. What a weird scenario, which could be easily explainable, until you factor in the subterfuge, gaslighting, secrecy, manipulation and family pressure. What a weird situation lol, like they all know something you don't about something that directly affected you, and rather than help you get clarity they all run cover for her. Am I the asshole for embarrassing our female coworker? Both my husband and I work for a dispensary as co-owners and managers. He is inventory manager and I'm kitchen manager, though up until last month I was at a different shop. I recently got the transfer approval. In our shop we only employ 11 people, 3 women including me, 8 men. One of the women is the owner's wife and she handles the finances and the other woman, Jen, handles the front end. Now to be blunt here, Jen is a fucking smoke show. Drop dead gorgeous young lady and to be blunt again, all the men here drool over her. Probably my husband included. I mean, even I drool over her, let's be honest. But she is also. IDK how to put it. 
She runs through the men here. She has already dated or hooked up with three of them and recently her eyes went to my husband. I'm used to this type of behavior because my husband is also a solid 10 on a bad day. But she also knows he is married so there is definitely a disrespectful aspect of things there. However, she did not know that I was his wife until this morning. So my husband came to me yesterday and was like, listen, Jen has been trying to take breaks with me and she often gets into my truck without asking whenever she sees me sitting outside, asking that I smoke her up and being flirty, like touching his arms and legs type of shit. So I asked if he wanted me to handle it and he said, please, but don't be rude about it, because he had already told her several times he was married and her only response is, oh I already know that, and continues on her BS. Well I knew his break was at 10 and I made a point to come out a few minutes later. I walk to the truck and lo and behold, Jen is in the front seat. I hear my husband say, that's my wife's seat, and she just giggles and says she is keeping it warm. Please note we are in our 30s and this girl is 23. So I go up to the window and say, thanks for keeping my seat warm but I'm here now. She just scowls at me and says, we are kind of talking here, so I go, yes, I see that and now I would like to speak to my husband, with a smile on my face. Her face drops and she gets out quickly. Now the problem is that three of the guys were sitting there too and they immediately start laughing, which embarrassed her even more. The owner's wife said I should have pulled Jen aside and said something versus embarrass her in front of everyone. Am I the asshole? Apparently Jen and the owner's wife are the only two who think so. ETA. This girl has been reported to our. However, in a blurred lines version of events, Jen is the owner's wife's cousin. Therefore none of the reports are taken seriously and likely never will be. Not the asshole, wait. So your husband directly told her to stop her behavior, it was unprofessional, unwanted, it's not cute or funny or whatever, and she continued to harass him. Why has she just not been fired? Not the asshole. You didn't embarrass her, she embarrassed herself. You actually handled the situation very maturely. Not the asshole. For people incapable of learning that, no, is a complete sentence, shame and embarrassment are highly effective teachers. You managed the situation perfectly. You did absolutely nothing inappropriate here. If she feels embarrassed, that's on her. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole for turning away a friend after he showed up to my birthday dinner without RSVPing? I had a birthday dinner this weekend. A week before the dinner I sent a mass text out to eight of my friends telling them the location date and time and to let me know by a certain date if they are coming so I can make a reservation at a hibachi place. Most people said they could come. One friend said they couldn't make it and another friend never responded. A couple days later I was talking to one of the friends I invite about the dinner and they said they thought the friend who didn't answer was coming but they weren't sure. I said that he needs to RSVP so I have the gearest headcount for the reservation. I never heard from the friend who didn't respond so I made the reservation accordingly. I should add that before I made the reservation I texted in the mass text chain with, last chance to RSVP I'm making the reservation at this time today. The day of my dinner, the friend who didn't respond showed up right as the hostess was asking for the name of the reservation. I told her that we had an extra person show up and I apologized. She looked to see if she could place all of us but was unable to find a place to accommodate an extra person without us having to wait two hours. So I told the friend who didn't RSVP that he could not join us for dinner. He got mad and told me I was a bad friend. He told me it was embarrassing to be turned away from a birthday party and that he wasted time and gas coming out. I told him he should have RSVP'd he told me he told our friend that he might be going. I told him that wasn't good enough and he should have told me. He told me that I should have asked him if he was coming. Am I the asshole? Edit. For those stating I should have assumed he was coming because another friend said he might be. I don't work off if hearsay. Especially since the friend who said this is known for saying lots of things that don't turn out to be true or turn out to not happen. I never take what they say seriously. Not the asshole. You asked people to RSVP. He didn't. You didn't include him in the reservation. End of story. Telling another friend he might be coming is not an adequate RSVP, or actually, not an RSVP at all. Not the asshole. No RSVP is a no on an RSVP. If he can't be bothered to tell you directly, that's on him. It's common courtesy. And it isn't like you told him to leave when he showed up. You tried to get another seating and rightfully decided a two-hour wait would be unreasonable and rude to the others attending. You did due diligence being nice to someone with questionable manners. 
He should be embarrassed for showing up and causing an issue he could have easily avoided with a single email. I mean, how hard is it to reply with, yes? Am I the asshole for leaving my sister's singing performance after she got tickets for others but not for me? My, F30, sister, F23, Sandra, is building a career as a singer in a band. She got a gig at a club, and she invited our whole family, parents, siblings, to attend via group text. We all said yes, and planned to go all together. We are all very supportive of her, and she's landed some great gigs. I always go to her performances when I can, even though it's hard to get out sometimes because I have young kids. When I got to the club, I saw my parents, my brother, my sister and their respective boyfriend and girlfriend had all just arrived. I thought, great, we will all go in together. We all went to the entrance, and the whole group skipped the line waiting to buy a ticket to get in, and went straight to the entrance. I asked them what was happening, and they told me we're on the guest list and didn't have to wait in line. When we got to the entrance, everyone's names were on the guest list except for mine. I was told to go to the other lineup and wait my turn. At the same moment, Sandra popped out of the club to welcome everyone in. I asked her why I wasn't on the guest list too. She just kind of made an awkward embarrassed face and said sorry quietly, then went back in with the rest of the group. I felt kind of insulted, but I stayed and paid for my ticket to get into the club. I figured I would join the rest of the group once I was in. Well, when I got in, the rest of the group was in a VIP section of the club, and I was not allowed in. My brother and his girlfriend tried to argue to let me in, but the people at the club wouldn't allow it. Sandra came around again when she heard the arguments, and I immediately asked her why she didn't include me in the guest list. She told me she only had six tickets and figured it would be weird to split up one of the couples so she let me be on my own. At this point I felt really dry. So I said, wow, alright. I'm not going to stay in this club alone, so I'm gonna split. Good luck tonight. And I left and went home without waiting for her to answer. Apparently my brother and his girlfriend left shortly after me as well. He was under the impression that Sandra had gotten us all tickets, and he felt like Sandra leaving me to be alone was not cool. After the show, I got a text from my mom saying that I was being dramatic by leaving and left my sister feeling nervous and unhappy right before a performance. She said I should have just stayed to support my sister and not made a big scene, which I don't think I did but anyway. She said if I had waited, someone from the group would have left the VIP to join me so I wouldn't have been alone. So what's your judgment here? Not the asshole. She should have at least told you the situation, but you have every right to feel as left out as you literally were. Also, betting mom has a history of siding with sis. Not the asshole. I like the cut of your brother's and his girlfriend's jib by the way. Classy fuckers. Not the asshole. She could have said in the group chat that she could only get six tickets, so someone would have to pay, and then let you all figure that out for yourselves. Then, she could have made arrangements ahead of time to make sure number seven got into the VIP area after they bought their ticket. Or, you know, she could have bought the seventh ticket herself early. Not the asshole. Your sister didn't owe you a ticket and comps are often limited, but she should have told you the score so you could decide whether you wanted to come and sit on your own.